as bad as this looks, the worst of this situation may be over. Geologists say the rate of growth for this massive sinkhole appears to be slowing. Right now, this crater measures about 260 feet deep and the length of three football fields. If they got it contained and it's not getting any bigger, that would be great. Still, it could take months before it's clear whether the neighborhoods of this Houston suburb are completely stable. It, uh, you know, in, what, five hours it did two football fields and everybody just thinks it's going to go away? No. If we have a little bit of rain, I don't think it's going to be good. The 900-foot-long sinkhole has swallowed oil tanks, barrels, tires, telephone poles, and even several vehicles. Officials are still trying to figure out what caused the sinkhole. The town sits on a salt dome, and some investigators think what's happened here might be a natural occurrence caused by groundwater leaking into the salt dome and dissolving parts of it. Some locals speculate that nearby oil drilling may have weakened the ground. Everybody around here says a different story, so it's really hard to tell. Investigators are checking pipelines and trying to determine if any regulations have been violated. Two large oil lines have started to leak, but Texas health officials say no pollutants have been detected in the air or water. There are about 100 homes in the immediate area of the sinkhole, but officials say none has been evacuated or appear to be in imminent danger. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.